Okay. Third time's charm. I hope so. I've been trying this now for three times. Uh, the power to this sec exciter is 18 volts, 14 mils, 200 milliwatts. And remember the rounding off of this particular supply is plus or minus 2 on the, the current. And I just returned from a speaking engagement with a corporation which has a lot of young engineers. It turns out they're looking at some of my work, which I'm quite uh, proud to say. And here are the sec exciter that we have hooked to this power supply. The, one of the young engineers said, why do we need to connect L3 directly to the exciter? Why can't we remotely place L3 down the line? Well, okay, I mean, if you remember back to the very first boards that I uh, distributed, we had a network where we were using coils and capacitors to propagate the energy down through the system. Well, this particular circuit I've never tried, and I was quite interested, so when I uh, arrived back today, I took and put it together right away to see how it looked. So out of the output of L3, or where L3 should be, the output, which is a direct connection back to L2, I have the aluminum block. And if you remember back to the videos where I said, what's mass got to do with it? Here we have a second aluminum block. Boy, those LEDs are so bright, they're really messing with the camera. But the second aluminum block is right in here. I have a 12 lead board connected directly to that aluminum block. And let me get in here and you can see that. And you can see the spacing between the blocks. Okay, and then here's L3 just connected to the side with the uh, copper tape. And it goes to an AV plug driving 54 LEDs. And so basically you could say from conventional uh, wisdom all we have here is a, uh, a sec exciter which is driving a capacitor. But I don't think uh, it's going to be that easy for you all to explain. I marveled at this in that this can be carried on for a number of stages. You can take and put another aluminum block at the connection point of this AV plug in L3, place another L3 on the other end of it, and drive another 54 LEDs without impacting the input energy to the whole system. So what we've done here is we've added two methods of doing the energy coherence. We have the two aluminum blocks, we have the L3, and we have not only the space between the blocks, but we have the effect of L3, which is also pulling in some of the spatial energy. So we've got 54 LEDs here, 12 LEDs here, on this little piddly 14 milliamps, 18 volts, 200 milliwatts. Uh, I'm going to explore this further, and I have to apologize for not posting much in the last few months, but I've been extremely busy, uh, and I'm going to be putting some more information up on the hydrogen, oxygen, uh, two and three coil systems, but I just have not had the time. But I thought this was so interesting, and I was so happy to see somebody still working with these systems that I decided I would try it for the gentleman and put it up and see if I could make it work for once. Thanks for watching.